everybody. So, leaving the garage right now. I'm actually on my way to to urgent care for myself. I've had a spider bite on my left leg for about a week. I had a doctor's appointment on um, Monday. I had a few doctor's appointments last week. I had a follow-up appointment for my knees on Monday. <clears throat> so, my left knee is doing a lot better. Um, if you don't know, my knees have been <clears throat> really messed up from exercising, but I'm still exercising. I just, um, my trainer modifies the exercises for me. And <clears throat> it seems they thought, the doctors thought it was my meniscus. And so, my insurance would not pay for an MRI until I have physical therapy. And in therapy, the therapist thought that I was using more of my front muscles, which was pulling, I guess, the tendons or muscles, and not using enough of my back leg muscles. So, I had like six sessions of physical therapy. Um, another thing that happened is my doctor's office or hospital they gave me like these braces or wraps that you pull up on your knees well I have um, eczema not real bad like some people but I get eczema when I get rashes and the materials that they gave me and combined with the heat because remember it's been over a hundred degrees in the area that I live in Southern California created um, rashes around the thigh where my where my knees and thigh meet so I went on Amazon and got some better braces that they put they put together and sorry and they velcro and stuff and they're more breathable but I rarely wear the brace on my left leg now now I'm more wear it on my right <clears throat> and so I showed her that and I also showed her the spider bite. I said, you know, it, it had a little pimple on it. And I popped the pimple and put medicine. I've been putting hydrocortisone cream. So she told me to just keep putting the hydrocortisone cream. And she actually got me a fungal cream for the rash that was on my leg. Because she said the format of it looked like it created like kind of a fungal thing. But it's clearing up. So I put that on once a day. <clears throat> well, the spider bite has gotten bigger. So it's sore and it's itchy and it's red. And um, then it's a Thursday. I went and had an annual breast exam. Those are always fun. I'm squeezing you to death. But they're needed. And so I was going to go to urgent care yesterday. I was just too tired. Still putting hydrocortisone cream on the spider bite and... To me, it's gotten, like, spread it wider, and it feels tight. So, um, a sister had invited me to do what is called a Bible tour. I'm a trouble witness. So, there's some brother, a, um, a family in the UK that goes to museums, and they basically kind of document the artifacts at the museum that shows proof of what the Bible is saying. It was very interesting. This one is based on the Assyrians and things of that nature. It was very good. It was very good. Like they, He actually had um, a slingshot rock and he showed pictures of it and he compared it to a Magnum 44 gun. And so I put in the comments, I said, now we know how David killed Goliath because those rocks were shaped and everything sorry every time I turn the corner this thing keeps moving um, were shaped to kill people in the velocity in the velocity that they slung the slingshot with the rocks he said it feels like um, the weight of a, like a coke can like when you open a coke can and you drink it he said it feels like that so now I understand how David killed Goliath when he took the slingshot and it hit his forehead Anyway, back to my spider bite. So my spider bite on my leg is bigger. 
and it feels tighter. So I just want to make sure everything's okay. Um, there's some pain that I can take. I'm not like dying or anything. I told my mom, maybe I don't have to go. My mom's like, no, go to the doctor because you don't know what's going on. It could be worse. So I'm going to urgent care and it's 1.30. I wish I could have went earlier, but um, when you promise some, <clears throat> someone that you're going to do something, like I did that Bible tour, you, you let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. So the Bible tour started at 11. It lasted to about 12.20, 12.30. And then um, my mother had made our, basically made our dinner. She um, did some smothered chicken potatoes and some asparagus. And she said, why don't you go ahead and eat before you hit urgent care, which she's right about that. So I ate and I packed me up some nuts. Packed me up my computer. I'm actually taking a one-year program at my local community college. Um, I'm always going to be in procurement, but I'm trying to look at <clears throat> stuff I can do outside of my current career um, for retirement purposes. Year-long program, and it was actually quite reasonable. They took money off. I'm able to make monthly payments on it for a year, and um, hopefully be able to find some more income outside of my um, current regular 40-hour-a-week job. So I got my trusty computer with me because when you're in urgent care or emergency, you're usually sitting there for a few hours. I'll be there by myself and I can just sit there and concentrate. I usually study for about between an hour to two hours a day when I'm studying on something. So that way you can retain information. So I'm going to get the spider bite checked um, with my new company. I, of course, I have insurance. I use PPOs. I only need a little bit more money. But my hospital that I go to is pretty good with allowing you to make payments. I just hate. I just hate having to go. It hasn't been the best year for my legs this year. And when I'm in the yard, whatever spider bit me, it bit me through my clothes because I always have on pants you guys know I have my garden sleeves my gloves, my hat um, I even put my braids up under the hat with the bonnet and I still got bit first time I've been um, bit by the spider in the yard um, since I started gardening in, <clears throat> in 2019 so and it, it it got me good. It got me real good. So, that is it. Hopefully, you, some of you are watching my video I did this morning um, of me up planting trees into bigger containers because they needed it. Those roots need to spread and grow so that I can get them in the ground. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to maybe teach a little something. If not, I just hope you enjoyed the music in the video. Okay, so that's it. I'm on my way to Urgent Care. You guys have a better Saturday than me. <laughs> Bye.